What's up guys? My name is Cody and today I'm going to be explaining to you on how to get a date. Yes, that's right, because I am the perfect, perfect love doctor. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. No, I'm really not, because I suck at everything in life. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to find them on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or MySpace. I just said MySpace. What? Or you want to find them on Tumblr or Instagram. Did I already say Instagram? Or YouTube. And you want to check all their tweets and all their, you know, Facebook posts and all that stuff. Just to make sure that they're not like some kind of freaky psychopath rapist killer person thing. Or like they don't like molest animals because that's just... That's weird. Anyway, and so after you figure out they're clean, make sure to like retweet all their tweets and stuff and like favor them. So if he or she is like, oh my god, so I just tripped over a rock or something, make sure to favorite that just so they know that like that you're paying attention to them and that you care and that you want them to know that you like the fact that they're not perfect and that they trip on things. So just yeah, so do that. And then on Facebook, make sure to like like all the pictures and like comment little things like OMG or like cool or like that or something like that. And after you've done all that, make sure to find them outside on the streets or whatever. Like go to the nearest parks or whatever. Do anything you can to find them and like make sure that they know that at least somebody's looking for them. That somebody likes them at least. And then when you find them, slowly approach them. Don't just go up and be like, Oh, hi, how are you today? My name's, you know, so-and-so. Because then they might get weirded out. They'd be like, wow, this person's too straightforward. And they'd like, probably like kick you and leave or something. So what you want to do is like, watch them from afar. Like, make sure that you can see them from a distance. And they can't see you, so it like slowly happens. That's the ro romantic thing about, you know, watching people from afar. So as you get closer, make sure to like whistle to them or like yell, hey girl, or something like that. Yell to the world. Let them know that that is your guy or that is your girl. So I mean, that's going to be your future guy or girl. That's what they love to see. And then they'll basically just like throw themselves at you. Anyway, and so after that's happened, get their number right away because you don't want them to forget their number or like you don't want to forget your number or anything. So make sure that you um, exchange numbers and then walk away as fast as you can so that they can't like change their mind out of like nervousness or whatever. So And as soon as you get home, make sure to text them like a million text messages just so they get your message. So like they know that you're thinking about them every second of the day. So uh, text them and ask them what they're doing or like ask them how their walk at the park was or ask them if you if they saw the dead squirrel that you saw too and bring up conversation about anything. Let them know that you're taking a poop if you're taking a poop. Let them know that their eyes look like chocolate or whatever color their eyes are. And so basically that's where they start to like you. After about five minutes of texting them random stuff that they're gonna laugh at or whatever, Ask them to go on a date to the nearest, like, you know, affordable place because it's your first date. So ask them to go to, like, McDonald's or, like, Taco Bell or, like, you know, a donks or, like, the littlest place just so it'd be, like, more secluded and, like, you're just alone with your future lover and so you can, like, you know, start small talk about, like, their size shoe or, like, their bra size or what kind of underwear they're wearing or just, like, something... Like how their dog's doing, if they have a dog, you know, just stuff like that. Or like, talk about the dead squirrel some more at the park. They love when you bring up memories about when you guys first met, you know? So just make sure to talk about that stuff. Then she or he will become more comfortable with you. And then BAM! That's where you ask them out. Ask them to be your boyfriend, or girlfriend, or whatever they are. And make sure to know that you're always by their side. So whenever they're... Taking a dump, you're standing right there holding their hand. Whenever they're riding the bus, make sure you're next to them, right there. If they're sleeping, make sure you're watching them at least from out their window so they know that you're watching over them. Take millions of candid pictures of them so like they feel like a celebrity. Make them feel like a celebrity. Make them just feel so special. After your third date, that's where they're like putty in your hands. And basically you have yourself a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Anyway, so try all of those tips and tricks that I showed you because I guarantee that they will work. 
if you are trying to get somebody to hate you. Yeah, they're not gonna work. So, and that's all for my video today. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to tweet me on Twitter. Tweet me. Twitter me on Twitter. Hashtag Ask Cody Scott. And I will try my best to answer those questions for you or do whatever videos you want me to do next. Please give me ideas, please. Like, like please. Cause I, just please. Thanks for watching. See you later.